Doesn't feel like spring without tulips. First tulips are in. 30 for 30, 30 of them, 30 bucks, 1-800-Flowers.com. Get them now. 30 tulips, 30 bucks, 1-800-Flowers.com slash herd. John Gruden made a really good point yesterday. Uh, people are glomming on to his talk about Kaepernick, uh, but I thought the thing that was really, really, really interesting where he made a tremendous point is that John Gruden wants to eliminate instant replay. And, and here was his point. Listen carefully. We have full-time officials. Let them officiate the game. What we're using, uh, I sat in the booth for nine years watching super slow-motion replays. And it always looks like it's pass interference. And it always looks like it's a catch, uh, or it always looks like a drop, or sometimes it really confuses matters. I think when you officiate a game at that speed, it's hard to say what is and what isn't. I just soon let the officials on the field call the game like they did when I was a kid, take the microphones off them. First time, you know, let's just get on with the game. Uh, I think he nails it. Uh, one of the reasons I do not like replay is because I think momentum matters in sports. Have you ever gone to an NBA game? I'm going to go to the Laker game tonight. And what you'll notice in NBA games, that big dunk, that big block shot, that big three, crowd elevates, momentum, one team shrinks, one rises. Timeout replay, eight minutes. Huge disadvantage to the superior team and player and play in the moment. You lose the momentum. Same in football. Ever gone to a football play game? Huge hit. Big hit, interception, crowd elevate. Let's go to the booth replay. Momentum matters in life. It matters on dates. You tell a funny joke. She buys into your stuff. Next 20 minutes, she likes you. You go on a date. It's the first because she laughs? 10, 15 minutes. You set the tone. She likes you, doesn't. By the way, stats, she'll make a decision real quick. Momentum, relationships, games, sports, plays, school. Replay kills momentum. The second thing is, we think replay and slowing things down adds clarity. No, it's the opposite, and Gruden just nailed it. It distorts. It distorts. It manipulates. It exaggerates. You ever notice what they slow down? Shampoo commercials. They sexualize them. If you never slow down a shampoo commercial, it's just pert. But it's not when you slow it down. Watch Shark Week, Nat Geo. I'm going to play some music for you. What do you think of? Why did NFL films add music and slow the plays down? To make them more dramatic. Replays add drama. Is drama clarity? No, drama distorts. If you read a movie script, it's not distorted. If you add a score, it's dramatized. So Gruden makes a really good point. We think replay is clarifying everything. It's distorting everything. I'm going to give you an example. Take boxing. I want, you to, I want to show you boxing. Let's say you only judged or officiated boxing on slow-mo. Watch this. You'd stop the fight. You would stop the fight in the second round. You'd stop the fight. Now let's watch that in full speed from above. Brutal. Watch from full speed above. Oh. That's, that's called boxing. Now, slow it down again. If that is all you had, you'd watch the eyes. You'd watch the boxer. You would think that is significantly too violent and punishing but when you watch it from overhead, so again, what does music do to NFL films and Shark Week and shampoo commercials? What does slow-mo do to Shark Week, NFL films, and shampoo to commercials and boxing? It doesn't clarify. It distorts and manipulates. So there's two reasons I don't like replay. A, it kills the superior play, player, and moment. I work so hard to dunk on you and to get that hit on you, and to create momentum. And the replay kills it. And sports is all about. Can you imagine you go on a date, and she's smart, and she's thoughtful, and she's beautiful, and she has options. And you're telling a story, and she's interested. 
and you're just about to, and the waiter comes over and goes, excuse me, would you like a butter? And you'd be like, dude, killing it. Scram, come back in five minutes. You ever been in a date, waiter? It's the waiter who keeps, and it's like at good restaurants, they tell the waiter, hi. The waiter tells you, I'll be back in five minutes. All that is, is a cue to guys. You got five minutes to tell a great story. Is that what it is? That's exactly They're what it is. When I used it before I met Ann, and now I'm married, so I don't even try. But the point is, that's what a good waiter doesn't do. He doesn't interrupt. A good waiter assesses it. Okay, it's a business dinner. Another waiter's like, oh, they're dating. You can tell they're dating because they're not staring at phones and they're talking. That's when the wine just shows up. You don't even realize A good there. waiter seizes the moment. A waiter's yeah. like, oh, they're on their phones, not they're married. Or it's a bad date. Or the waiter's like, oh, they're talking and active and touching hands. They're dating. Stay away from the table. Instant replay is a bad waiter. It's interrupting the moment. Way to go, John Gruden. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff today. Uh, coming up next, I'm not sure this guy who now has one of the great jobs in the National Football League, I'm not really sure he knows what he's doing. But he said something yesterday, and I just don't buy it at all. Hour two coming up in L.A. It's the Lucius Lion is missing. Fox Tonight, Empire Returns. I love him. He belongs to me. Psycho. Yeah, I'm a beast. And it's going to be epic. The car bomb. It was me. Ah!